Good Sunday evening to you. I'm meteorologist Rich Rogers in the Storm Tracker 26 Weather Center. I want to give you an update on the current weather and what we can expect going into the work week. You know, a lot of us heading back to work and school in the upcoming week uh, after the holidays. And we do have some changes in the weather to be aware of. Take a look at our forecast headlines. Winter blast. Of course, we've already started feeling it this weekend, but we're going to get even colder than we are now. The good news is it'll give us a chance to dry out over the next few days with some sunshine, cool, dry conditions, but rain does look to return later in the upcoming week. Uh, for your planner on Monday, starting off uh, tonight, mostly cloudy, lows around 34 degrees by the time you get up in the morning, but we're looking for plenty of sunshine for Monday and breezy conditions, so that'll help to dry us out from all the rain we've had last week. Uh, but it'll also make it feel pretty chilly during the day on Monday. Our high only 53 degrees. That is a little below average for this time of year. We're going to have what we call cold air advection on Monday, and that's going to bring even colder temperatures as we head into Tuesday. So for uh, this morning, we started off around 32 degrees in Augusta, 36 in Macon. You can see widespread 20s and 30s across the southeast for low temperatures on your Saturday morning. And then as we went into Saturday afternoon, we didn't warm up a whole lot because we had a lot of clouds out there that were uh, blocking the sunshine from uh, blocking that sun from helping us to warm up. So we uh, only made it into the low 50s in Augusta for a high on Sunday. Right now, the current temperatures are in the 40s for most locations in the CSRA. A few of you still in the 50s, though. It's 49 in Evans. This is as of 6 p.m., 48 in Augusta, 46 in Barnwell, and it's 52 in Louisville. Well, the satellite radar shows those clouds are still with us as we head into the overnight hours. Uh, not really in any hurry to go anywhere. We'll see a few breaks in them from time to time. The rain should stay well south of us. We're not expecting any rain in our area, but you see a few light sprinkles showing up just south of Columbus there. And uh, that's an indication that we will be seeing some clouds during the overnight hours. But by the time you get up Monday morning, our forecast tracker shows dry, clear conditions, no more clouds. And a big area of high pressure, strong high pressure system to our north, will be uh, bringing that colder air down from the north during the day on Monday. And so you'll notice that blue line dropping below us as we head into Tuesday morning, way down to the Gulf of Mexico. That's the freezing line. So we are expecting temperatures here in the CSRA to drop well below freezing Monday night into Tuesday morning. So you want to bundle up the kids at the bus stop on Tuesday. I know a lot of kids heading back to school on Tuesday after the Christmas holiday. And uh, so this will be kind of a shock compared to what they were dealing with before the Christmas holidays. Uh, definitely much colder during the day on Tuesday. It should be cold as well. That strong high pressure to our northeast, it will maintain the cold weather into the day on Tuesday and Wednesday as well. Forecast for tonight, lows in the mid-30s across the metro region. It'll be dry even though we will see mostly cloudy skies, but by tomorrow plenty of sunshine. Highs in the lower 50s, and again, that's a little below average, and it will be breezy. Winds north at 10 to 15 miles per hour for your Monday. Monday night's low down to 27. Tuesday will only manage 46, even though it will be sunny. Tuesday night down into the mid-20s, so well below freezing for Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. Wednesday, we start to see the clouds returning once again, and that means a chance of rain for us as we head into Thursday and Friday. I know some of you are not really ready for any more rain yet. Uh, but it does look like at least a chance late in the week, perhaps a break on Saturday with warmer conditions, and then another front moves in for Sunday, and that should give us another chance of rain. So just wanted to give you an update on what's going on uh, with the weather. We certainly are in a colder pattern than we were just a week or so ago, and it looks like much of January will definitely be colder than what we saw during the month of December. However, Certainly nothing expected to be unusual for this time of year. So you want to keep it here at NBC 26 for the updates on the weather through the week. And as we go into the next couple of months with uh, cold weather coming and uh, certainly more rain on the way, I would say, as well. So I hope you have a great week ahead, and thanks for watching.